Hey coach, dad. Many of you know me as a player, um, manager, camera boy, uh, but mostly I'm the coach's son. Um, and that's a title nobody else can claim. So that's really special to me. We contacted several players, coaches, and other teammates, um, requesting to answer a couple of questions um, about your 26th year of coaching. Uh, that's a huge milestone. Um, and I hope there's many more years to follow. Um, Cause I think it's awesome what you do coaching and mentoring such great players that turn out to be even better people here in the future. Surprise, baby. It's been one hell of a ride for the past 26 years, and I wanted to say thank you for taking me along for the ride. I wanted a chance to show you not only how much you mean to your family, but also to those young men you have helped mold throughout the years. You have shown them how to work through adversity and how to become the best they could be. We have been through our ups and downs throughout the years, but I believe it has made our marriage stronger. Please know that I love you and will continue to support you. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. Thanks for the fun times, babe, and enjoy your video. So here are the questions here. Um, I'll start off. First question was, what is one word you would use to describe coach? Here's my answer. I don't think there is one word that describes him. There are several words that describe him. Um, he's driven, dedicated, passionate, um, striving to always be the best. He's smart, competitive, and quick on his feet. And I think those are traits that cannot be beat. One word I would use to describe you is the word passion. Anything and everything you do, you do it with passion. You will set your goals and you will work hard until you are able to attain it. And that is one great characteristic to have is that never give up attitude and to always do everything with passion. Hey coach, Brad Derrick here. Mobiles football, 91 and 92. Doesn't seem like that long ago, but it's probably, it was the beginning of, of the coaching career that from what I understand has gone on well past 20 years. Uh, living in Grand Forks, North Dakota now, and of all things, I'm a fishing guide for a living. But uh, they, they said to uh, describe you with, with one word, and when I was thinking about this, it came up with one real quick, and it was intensity. But then as I was kind of preparing to shoot this video, I came up with three more. Pride, desire, and courage, just like it says on our football jacket from the 91 playoff team. And uh, those are words to live by. I mean, creating my business over the past couple of years, it didn't click that that all kind of came from you, but pride, desire, courage, you gotta have some pride in what you do, you gotta have the courage to plow ahead, and you gotta have the desire to succeed. And with that comes a fourth, a fifth word, which is uh, confidence, and confidence, you know, without confidence you can't really do anything, and confidence breeds success, and success breeds more success. And, you know, thinking about this project for the past few weeks, I mean, going back to those, especially that 1991 football team, those were things that were instilled in us and have stuck with, and whether I was thinking about it directly or not is what got me to where I am today, and I want to thank you for that, Coach. From a coaching standpoint, I guess one word I would uh, mention that it, I think you know, amplifies Craig is loyalty. Um, being the uh, head basketball coach, um, there were many times it seemed like when one of his star basketball players would get injured playing football and then um, not be able to participate for him in basketball. I, I remember years ago, his starting point guard happened to be my starting quarterback, young, great young man with the name of Jamie Cochran, and Jamie tore his ACL in football and could not participate in basketball. Now I know roles, coaching roles were, re were reversed. I guess I wouldn't be too happy with that situation. And yet Craig handled it uh, uh, very well. I never heard a word from him. And uh, he was just, uh, you know, a, a team player from word goal. Kevin Hammer, 
I coached with Coach Hunter for eight years in boys basketball at WCA. Um, I don't know, it's pretty difficult to do just one word. Uh, I think most people that have been around this program would say dedicated would be a big word for him. Uh, I don't think anybody puts in more time and effort into what he's accomplished with coaching than him. This is Scott Best. I played basketball for you um, starting in 1993, 94, C squad, 94-95 on the B squad, and then 95-96 you were you were uh, an assistant for one of the last few years there uh, when I played varsity. I think shortly after that you took over as head coach. Um, the, the one word I could best describe you as is admirable. Um, you were a great person to learn from both on the court and in the classroom. Um, I also enjoy seeing you um, off, outside of school. Um, I get the benefit of seeing you at church and seeing, seeing you as a great husband and a great father. Um, the care that you uh, have given your family and athletes over the years is second to none. Um, you show a lot of characteristics that I'd like to see in myself. Hi there, Scott Swanson here. First off, Coach Hunter, congratulations on the many years you've dedicated to teaching and coaching. Coach was an assistant for football uh, during my high school years, 93 to 97, and he was an assistant for the first few years for basketball, but then he was our head coach my senior year, which is 96 to 97. So that's pretty cool to say Coach Hunter's first year as head coach at West Central Area. That was my senior year, and that was a pretty fun team we had there too. I'm gonna cheat and use two, year, two words to describe Coach Hunter intense and competitive. For those that know him pretty well, he does not like to lose. My name is Ryan Haroldson. I played both football and basketball underneath Coach Hunter from 1995 through 1997. Um, one word that comes to mind when I think about Coach Hunter is his discipline that he had both on and off the floor. Hi, my name is Chad Davison and I transferred to West Central area my sophomore year in 1997. So I played uh, Football and basketball with Coach Hunter from 1997 to 2000. In football, he was my offensive coordinator. In basketball, he was obviously my head coach. So I got to spend three, three great years with Coach Hunter. Uh, the one word to describe Coach for me is it's very easy. It's, it's passion. He just, he just puts so much energy into everything he does and he invests so much time into the, into the people, into the sport. Um, the example that comes to my mind are the in football were the scouting reports that he made. I think those things were eight pages long. It had such detail, it had probabilities and percentage of the times they ran all these plays. We were so prepared. Um, and having played football at the college level, I didn't even get that amount of passion or detail at that level. Um, so passion is the easy word that comes to my mind when I describe Coach Hunter. My name is Alan Strum, and I played for Coach Hunter from 2007 to 2009. One word that I would describe Coach is passionate. He brings passion not only to sports, but in everyday life. One word that I would use to describe Coach Hunter would be competitive, because of the desire to play and coach each individual player. Hey Coach, I know we're supposed to start this video off by int introducing who we are. Um, I know most people would recognize me as Logan Finkston. I know you recognize me as Logan Finkston, the co-host of the ESPN Morning Show that never made it. Uh, I know me and Mitch are pretty disappointed about that. We really thought that would have would have taken us somewhere. That's definitely one of my career goals that, that didn't happen that I'm really regretting to this day. Um, sports I played for you would have been basketball and golf. Played from 2007 to 2010. What is one word I would use to describe Coach Hunter? I would have to say dedicated. Um, just with all the time you spent the late nights watching film, waking up early to watch film, going out scouting, spending time away from your family. I mean, that's something that people on the sidelines don't don't get to see, and we got got to see that firsthand. Um, and I can't can't thank you enough for all the time you put in. Hi everybody, this is Hena, also known as Paulo, straight from Brazil. I just want to say thanks again for letting me be part of this tribute for Coach Hunter. Coach was certainly deserving. He's a great guy, a great teacher, and a great coach. 
I played basketball for one year on the 2011-2012 season. One word to describe Coach Hunter would say leader because he shows us the way of doing things on and off the court. One word to describe Coach Hunter would be driven. No matter what Coach Hunter is doing, whether he's coaching basketball, scouting, or playing a game of horse, it's a 100% guarantee that he will put in twice as much effort as the next guy because I remember him saying that there's always someone out there putting in more time or working harder than you. He uses that motivation and drive him to be the best he can be whenever he does, and he shares this with his team. I played basketball for Coach Hunter from 2011 to 2014. One word I've used to describe him is passionate. You can see this passion in everything he does, whether it be coaching, a day on the golf course, or just him working out. My name is Grady Combs. I played varsity basketball for Coach Hunter from 2012 to 2014. Um, one word to describe him, I'd say dedicated. He was really dedicated to the game of basketball, really loves it. I don't know somebody that loves it more. I played basketball for Mr. Hunter from 2010 to 2014. One word I would use to describe Mr. Hunter is dedicated. Hey, I'm Jay Zimmerman. Uh, I played basketball for Coach Hunter at West Central from 2011 to 2015. One word I would use to describe Coach Hunter is dedicated with anything he does, whether it's coaching or teaching. My name is Hunter Bingston. I played basketball and golf for Coach Hunter, basketball 2013 to 2015, and golf 2012 to 2015. One word to describe Coach, I would say passion. He gives it all no matter what he does, especially in the game of basketball and golf. If I could describe my dad in one word, it would be inspiring. He taught me to never give up and to try harder every single day. Second question is, what is one of your favorite memories of Coach Hunter? One of the memories I remember of, of Craig, obviously, is if the coaches would have a hard practice or even after a ball game and would go out for um, a cold one or something, why Craig would put his clothes on and go for a five-mile run. I was always impressed with the uh, way he kept himself in such great physical shape, and I think he still does. So my hat's off to him. It's just something that I wish I had the uh, energy to do. I was really fortunate when, when I coached to spend a lot of um, my career coaching with Craig Hunter and um, during, in the football program uh, we uh, probably had our fair share of success and, and won a fair amount of games and I always attributed that to two things. Number one, we had some really good football players that we were fortunate to work with over the years. Number two, I always had some great assistant coaches. When I was a head coach, um, I had a really good staff and none better than Craig Hunter. Uh, coach Hunter was extremely dedicated to night football and willing to do whatever it took and go the extra mile and that's the kind of the second thing or leads me into the second thing about Craig Hunter is uh, as far as a coach there's nobody that's going to outwork Coach Hunter and you know one of the things that we asked of our football players is we wanted to work hard we didn't want Breckenridge to beat us because they outworked us but as coaches we didn't want to lose a game because we got outworked by the other coaches and, and Craig was always very, very dedicated and, and did everything he could to try to make sure that that wouldn't happen and I still ref a lot of basketball games today and, and I watch a lot of these young coaches and I always kind of chuckle to myself and think, well, Craig's probably going to beat them most of the time because he's going to outwork those guys. So uh, his work ethic is tremendous and, and the third thing that really stands out for me about Coach Hunter is he's a coach's coach and by that I mean he's a career coach. I see a lot of coaches today that coach because they have a special interest. Maybe their kid plays or all of a sudden there's a good group of talent coming through. So now it's a great time to be a coach. Coach isn't like that. He's a career coach. He cares about all kids. He's dedicated his career to coaching all kids and I really admire him for that. Well, there's a lot of good memories. Um, I still remember the time Coach Hunter came up to me and gave me a warning about that Franny was pregnant with Lexi and her due date was any day and he might miss the basketball game. That one sticks out into my mind. I still remember that one. Um, I still remember when Craig was always kind of nervous before basketball games and worried to make sure that he had covered everything for his team and had him prepared, which of course he always had him prepared. Um, and the one time uh, he was kind of nervous before a game, I don't remember exactly what led up to it, but Coach Drexler asked, to, uh, asked Coach Hunter if he needed to get a hug. That was kind of funny before a game. Um, we had a good laugh over that many times since then because I looked at Craig's face and he told Coach Drexler he didn't need a hug. <laughs>
Yes, Craig is a real good friend of mine. The big thing I remember about him is when he uh, took me with out to Aberdeen when Brian went out to basketball camp. And he took me with some uh, scouting too. I really had a blast. But one thing I remember Brian saying that he used some of my pictures to show that we weren't playing defense. So that that was made me really happy. Um, a few of my favorite memories with you, um, um, of course, was the first time I saw you in the gym before school um, when you first started teaching that first year. Um, you were shooting three-pointers. Um, I you think you even threw down a few dunks, and we were just we were all in awe on who this guy was. Um, later on, found out you were going to be our coach. Um, another memory is uh, during the C Squad game, um, we weren't having a very good game. Um, things just weren't going our way, and it was halftime. Um, and we were all down in the locker room, and you pulled me out of the locker room into the hallway, um, and you told me what you were about to say, then apply to me, and sent me back in. And I didn't really understand what that meant until you came into the locker room and you, you let us have it because um, you were trying to motivate us and we needed needed a lot of motivating that day. So um, another great memory was uh, B-Squad. Um, we started the season 0-7. Um, things obviously weren't working right for us and somehow you managed to get us turned around. Um, I don't remember what what happened or what what we all did, but um, we ran the table the rest of the season um, to finish that season 11 and seven. I think is I think is where we ended. So um, it was really fun to go on that that winning streak and finish the year strong that year. Um, um, another great memory is that year I played with you down in the Minnewaska League. Um, getting to know you as a person and not a coach and a teacher, um, it was it was hard not to call you Coach Hunter yet, even though I was a few years out of high school. But um, getting to know you and getting to know your sense of humor, riding in the van down to them games down in Minnewaska, um, and then of course the jokes. Um, I won't go into them much more than that, but. I think you know which ones I'm referring to. Um, that always, always is a good laugh when you bring them up. Um, my favorite memory about Coach Hunter is going to be kind of more of an example of how, kind of how he cared for us players. For our senior year graduation presents, he gave us highlight tapes from the previous season. And not just, you know, plays after play after play from game, you know, each game. He had kind of had them bulked into individual players. So, you know, Haroldson's highlights, Rooney's highlights, my highlights, you know, and so on. And being in video production work myself now, man, that must have taken a lot of time. And I appreciated it then to be able to see that, but I, you know, now 20 years later to have the, those highlights and that be able to watch those games and, and have those memories again, uh, I really appreciate it now. Um, one of my favorite memories of coach came after graduation. Um, had the opportunity to coach underneath him um, when I, at WCA when I was in college, um, and he's still one of my one of my mentors in my coaching career. My favorite memory of coach didn't happen on the football field or the basketball field, although there are a lot of great memories there too. Um, you know, again, I came over as a sophomore to know the school very well and I was just growing in my relationship with Coach Hunter and I was sitting in an accounting class one year, I believe it was my sophomore year, it's towards the end of class, I was working on some homework, just being quiet, I thought, and all of a sudden Coach Hunter says, Chad, come up here to his desk and I didn't know what to expect, I thought I was in trouble or I thought I did poorly on some homework. So I was a little nervous going up there, um, so I just slowly walk up there, just kind of hesitant and he looks at me and I look at him and I was expecting the worst and then he pulls out a scouting report and asks me to sit down and we go over it. So it's just I look back at that now and I just I just laugh as it just no, it just makes it's just a funny memory. It's I was expecting the worst and he wanted to go over a scouting report. So um, for some reason that one sticks in my mind and I think it goes back to the passion that Coach Hunter has. My favorite memory of Coach would be all the heart-to-hearts we used to have when I was his student aide. What's your favorite memory of Coach Hunter? 
Um, my favorite memory would be having the retired coach that does now no longer play basketball came out my senior year and actually played with us because that was a request we had from him. Um, that was a lot of fun, and I remember that, and I always will. Uh, this would be a tough one. I mean, it's we spent so much time together in those three years. Whether it was at basketball practice, during lunch meetings, during games, during on the golf course, on trips out to the golf or trips to tournaments, I mean everything was just. I think the whole whole three years in general was could very well be the best three years of my life. Um, and going back to that, I know on the way to the golf course we had had many discussions, and to this day, to this day, I truly believe I haven't been wrong on on any one of them. My favorite one was probably the Morris game my senior year when we won in double overtime in the playoffs. Um, after the game, a couple of classmates and us decided to take a picture and Coach Hunter laid on the floor um, and I was on display the picture again. Um, and I thought that was super funny and um, pretty cool to see my dad do that. Well, I, I actually have two favorite memories of Coach Hunter. The first one being the day that he told me I would dress up for the varsity game on the playoffs. The second one being the day that I beat him at poker night on the final round. My favorite memory of Coach Hunter and sports in general would be beating Morris my sophomore year in playoffs, and having the whole student section storm the court, and a picture we all took afterwards with Coach Hunter posing in front of the team and the fans. Looking back, there are so many great memories we had with Coach Hunter. But the one that shows exactly the type of person he is came during the summer before my sophomore year. I got hurt pretty bad in a summer league game and Coach Hunter was at my house within a few days, supporting me and telling me I could come back from it. This shows that he cares about us not just as players, but as people too. Um, I don't know if these would be considered favorite memories of Coach, but they're one of the most talked about between me and my friends. And that would be when he broke his clipboard over his knee at halftime of our St. John's game, or when he slapped Drew Peterson's water bottle across the room, the health room. At the time, it was pretty scary, but looking back, it was one of the funnier memories, I guess you could say. Favorite memory of Coach, I would say just all the pep talks he gave us before basketball games, all, and all the life lessons he gave us were truly tremendous. And my favorite memory was him. He was my coach on my very first basketball game. Two of my favorite basketball memories of you was when we beat DGF and you ran out of the court after throwing your coat up into the air. And the last one was Carson's senior year when we beat Morris and you had run and slid across the floor to be included in on the photo of all the seniors. I love it when you show emotion, baby, and so do the fans. Third question. What is your favorite sports memory? As far as a sports memory, I guess the one I remember, one of them I remember is how excited and happy he was when we defeated uh, Morris in the Fargo Dome uh, at, uh, I think we kicked off at about 11.30 that night and, and was done, you know, long after midnight. Um, a great, a great memory. But then I also remember him getting a 15-yard penalty down the Kingsland game for calling an official a homer, I think it was. Um, I, I respect Craig a lot. I, I actually envy him. I envy him that he still has kept that fire burning in his belly and that competitive spirit, that he wants to continue coaching year after year. And uh, I know he's uh, uh, done a lot of good for West Central Area and a lot of good for the young men that he's coached. And uh, he's turned a lot of boys into young men. My favorite was always the practices. I think um, being that I, I didn't teach at the school and had a different profession, and then I needed that break during the day, and it was always so much fun to go to practices with uh, Coach Hunter and uh, the many kids that we had in the program. We were a bunch of kids, and we had a lot of fun. I can't really pin down one specific uh, favorite sports memory, but I have to say for football, of course, junior year, beating Morris in the Fargo Dome um, for the section championship. And then for basketball, first game of the year, Pelican Rapids down by one. Uh, David Kruzmark hits a three-pointer at the buzzer to win, and that got us off to a pretty good start for that year, and that was a fun year we had. So, um, One of my favorite memories I'd have um, 
as far as my playing days, I think it would come in the, the championship at, at Wadena in a tournament. And also in Rune Dog, uh, did a chin up on a dunk against Morris. My favorite sports memory, again, there's there's a lot of them. I just think it was the whole season, my, my senior year in football. And we got second state, and uh, it wasn't any particular game, just the whole the journey, the process going there. Just, you know, it was, you know, the journey actually started my sophomore year. We, we put so much work and dedication into the sport, and the results weren't quite there. My sophomore year it got a little better, the junior year, and then the senior year, just to see the dividends pay off for our team, all the hard work, and just seeing, just seeing the excitement on Coach Hunter's face, like, Coach is a very emotionally neutral, just even keel person, but to see him get excited and like fist pump or jump up and down on the sidelines, uh, you know, that just brought a smile to my face seeing that. So I think that was that was my favorite sports memory. Again, there's lots of them, but that's the one that sticks out in my mind. My favorite sports memory of Coach would be when we were in DGF, we were losing at half. Sam and I were getting in a fight in the locker room. And Coach came in a couple seconds later and started clapping. He's like, yeah, yeah, this is what I want to see. I want to see this fire from the rescue. And it kind of did light a fire under everyone else. We ended up losing the game, but everyone played a lot better. <laughs> and there, right after he and that uh, whispered to me, so he wants us to fight each other? <laughs> it made me laugh. I think it would have to be when I scored my thousand points. Uh, it was a big deal for me. Um, coach, you did a good job coaching me to get to that point. Um, without you, I probably would have never done it. So. This is another tough one. We spent spent three years together. Uh, but I'd have to say, even though it's not, it's not a great memory, Probably the game against Morris. He's kind of got a kind of got a bad ending, but the the road there was fun. I mean, it was the eighth ranked team in the state. The atmosphere was phenomenal. A ton of people. It's a team that we've never beat. Played them ever since fifth or sixth grade, and just one team we we never never could beat. And I mean, we gave it we gave it everything. I mean, I truly believe at the end of the night that. Everything we had, we, we gave it to him. And I truly believe that a, a good coach, and this goes back to me refing and seeing many different coaches, I, I think a good, a good coach is worth 12 to 15 points every night. And I think that night we definitely got all 15 and every other night out there, I think we took advantage of every point you offered us. Um, my favorite sports memory of the future, say it's Monday, April 3rd, 2017 down in Phoenix. I'm pretty sure we'll have a, a NCAA bracket going on. And Carol, I will win the bracket because Carolina will be cutting down the nets at the end of the night. Um, and a couple of them come to my mind when I when I hear this question. Um, one of my favorites was I was a manager. Um, I think I was in fourth or fifth grade um, when Blake Olson was falling out of bounds. Uh, threw the ball behind his back to Elliot Richards, jumped back into the game, um, and Elliot dished, dished a bounce pass to him back for a layup. Uh, one of the best plays I've ever seen in my life. Um, another one of my favorite memories was the high school in Ashby game. Um, I think it was Blake Olson's senior year. Uh, the final score was 98-96. Um, that was probably the highest high school game I've ever seen. Um, the third one of mine uh, I talked about earlier was the Morris playoff game when we won in double overtime. Uh, that was one of the most exciting games I've ever experienced and it was so awesome to be a part of it, so thank you. My favorite sports memory is my senior night game. Probably one of my favorite memories is uh, the time we almost beat Battle Lake my junior year. It was a really close game. Um, my favorite memory is beating Morris my freshman year in playoffs. Favorite sports memory would probably be just the whole playoff experience of my senior year. I would say just all throughout senior year of basketball and golf. Basketball, we would not have gone that far 
if you aren't our coach. And I would not want it any other way. I would not want nobody else besides you to be my basketball coach. Fourth question, what is one thing coaches taught you that has carried on into your life? Oh, let's see. I don't know that there's any one thing, I guess. The one thing about Coach Hunter, I guess I always admired was uh, how organized he was. And if you look around my office, you can realize that didn't stick. Um, the other thing about him I always admired was uh, when you know, a couple times throughout our basketball or the years I coached with him, we had some family tragedies within the, the basketball community. and how he handled that and um, how supportive he was of people and, and um, how he handled situations like that. Um, I admired that. I wish I could be as good as he is with that. Um, one of the other things I guess that I think about um, also with Coach Hunter is how, how he um, was so thoughtful about different decisions and things that he had to make and make sure that he um, thought about all of the different angles and also sought input from many different people. He didn't try to do everything by himself. He um, gathered information and made good decisions. Well, like I said before, man, there's just so many things that I, I learned from Coach Hunter. Um, um, did a great job of uh, giving me ideas and things that I can carry throughout life. One of the main ones was um, the proper technique and how to bust a clipboard. <laughs> Um, some of the lessons I've learned from you that I carry through my life is just humility, um, hard work, teamwork, and respect. Um, just, just great characteristics that a lot of people should have. And, and to me, you taught me a lot of that playing for you over the years. One thing that Coach taught us um, that I've tried to kind of keep me keep with me through the years is, you know, just working hard and always dedicating your dedicating yourself to whatever you're doing. You know, if you worked hard, you hustled, played great defense, of course, you're going to get, you're gonna get minutes on the court because um, Coach really appreciated those, those hard workers. And going through that highlight tape, um, I was kind of looking off to the side, looking out to the bench, kind of trying to get some reaction from Coach, uh, some clips maybe that I could send to Carson. And there wasn't a lot of emotion, a lot of reaction just in the normal, you know, scoring, even with Rooney, some of Rooney's dunks. Um, but some of those hustle plays, um, guys diving on the ball, diving on the floor for loose balls, um, jumping out of, uh, out of bounds to try to save a loose ball. There you saw a coach jumping up, um, providing some encouragement and, and congratulating people for, for, uh, for their hard work. You know, things that I've carried on in my coaching and teaching career um, that the coach hunters taught me were um, the attention to details, doing the little things, not only in my lesson plans in my daily work, but also in my scouting reports that I give to my players. Um, some of the things that coach has taught me that I've carried through in my life, I guess the, the two things that I would say, and the first one is the passion. I mean, that is just very evident how much energy he put in every single day. He's just ready to go and excited. Um, you saw, I saw that every single day. It is very noticeable. And then also you know, the preparation, too. Just so much amount of work that he puts into everything he does. And, and I have I applied that to my life, too. Like, the I found what I do now for a living, I'm so passionate about, um, you know, and I've, I've taken these two things. I, I feel like I, I don't even work a day in my life. It's just so easy to do what I do because I love it. It's so easy to go the extra mile, put in the extra effort because I love, I love what I do. I love my job and I don't even consider it a job. And then, you know, the preparation I, wish, I learned from Coach Hunter as well. I, we, I put a lot of time and energy and lots of, um, thought months, years in advance and before we make a decision on, on something. And that gives us a lot higher chance of success because we've put so much thought into it. So definitely passion and preparation is what I've applied to my uh, professional life. He taught me a lot of things if it weren't for him, I want to be the person I am today. I consider him my role model. He taught me to be tough, to be mentally tough. If yeah, something in life didn't go right, just be tough, whether it be a death, death in the family or everyday life. Um, 
That's a really good question, but I think my answer would have to be perseverance. Uh, when things don't go your right way, uh, he always stressed this, is you gotta get over it and keep going, so. I'd say the dedication. I mean, if I could be the, the dedication that you put in the coaching and teaching in your career as a whole, if I can implement that into my career, I, I truly believe there's not a chance I'll, I'll fail. Um, another thing I'd like to implement would be the way you cared about everybody. I mean, the care that you gave to your players was pretty unbelievable. I mean, you kind of trotted, I mean, treated us like, like family, which we were. I mean, we spent a lot of time together. Um, I go back to August of 07. Probably a week before, yeah, what well, week before Tyson left for college, and we were on, the, on our way to the golf course, and as you know, we got in that car accident. And you and David were the first first two people that we saw. And you left and went to the golf course to get my dad, told him what happened. And yeah, you were even, even at the hospital when I was got taken to elbow. Um, and I know Tyson was up and Alec, he broke his leg. And I remember you telling my mom that if I needed a place to stay for the night, that you guys would be more than happy to take me in. And that, that's something that I'll remember the rest of my life. I mean, that was pretty. That was a pretty special moment, and it meant meant a lot. It meant meant a lot to me. Meant a lot to our family. It was. I don't know. It's just a memory that I'll never forget. And for me, I feel like it's. Um, you you have to make sacrifices to be good at anything. Um, like Coach did. Um, he oftentimes uh, was scouting or stayed up extra late after the game to plan next day's practice plan or breaking down the film. Um, he really set a great example for that for me. Um, just making a huge sacrifice uh, to make the whole team better as a whole. Uh, I think that's something every successful coach needs. Uh, two things that I learned from practicing basketball with Coach Hunter is effort and hard work. One thing that Coach taught me that I've carried on in my life is a quote he always used to say, it may not be easy, but it's worth it. No matter what challenge you face in life, by dealing with it head on, it'll make you grow stronger, and in the end, it will all be worth it. The biggest thing that Coach Hunter taught me is that it is great to be a hard worker and good player on the court, but it's even more important to be a hard worker and good person off the court. Well, the thing he's taught me in life was, uh, a hard work ethic will really get you a long ways in life. And one thing that he taught me is that whatever you're going to do in life, to give 100% at it. One thing Coach has taught me to carry out through life is to uh, be accountable, whether it's doing schoolwork or doing your job on the court. And uh, favorite sports memory would probably be just the whole playoff experience of my senior year was probably that you're going to have adversity in your life no matter what, so just never give up. And here are any additional comments um, or answers that we received. I hope all is well, and hopefully we can run into each other again someday. I believe it was the summer of 1993. I got a call from Dennis Anderson, the WCA senior high principal, and he wanted to know if I'd be interested in sitting in on some teacher interviews surprised me a little, but he made the comment that one of the applicants uh, was a um, high school head, high, head football coach and wanted to come to West Central area as a computer teacher. Knowing that uh, I was looking for assistant football coaches, he asked me to join in, in on the interview. And uh, I was putting together a completely new coaching staff which eventually consisted of three ex-head football coaches um, and uh, I needed to know how everything would, would fit together. So I was sitting there waiting for, we were going to interview three people and in walks this young, uh, very athletic looking young man and he interviewed for the computer job and as one of my assistant football coaches and of course, you know, um, basically the rest is history. So, Craig, thanks a lot, and congratulations. Coach, congratulations on a great career, and keep up the good work.
you know, I think when you think back over 26 years, I think Coach Hunt will probably agree with us was, I can't believe it's been 26 years, and I think he would agree that when you look back at it over the years go by that fast, you know, that it's been an enjoyable ride, so I'm sure he'd tell you it's been an awful lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed tremendously coaching with Coach Hunter. Um, he didn't know me that well when he asked me to help him out, and I agreed to do it, and he had an awesome time of coaching with him, and that's a credit to him. It made me feel part of the team, part of the basketball community, and uh, you know, develop a friendship that lasts a lifetime. Have a very good 26. Well, thank you so much for the 26 years you've given to coaching basketball and the many years you've been in our community here. Um, and not only what you've given to the community, but your whole family. Um, it takes a, a large sacrifice um, from them as well to, to do what you guys do. Um, but uh, us as a community, we've been so beneficial to have you guys here. Um, and I hope you're able to coach for many more years to come. So um, thanks again for everything you've done for me. And, um, I hope you have a, a great celebration here for 26 years. Thank you. Once again, Coach, congratulations, and we hope to visit with you soon. Congratulations on your coaching career, and here's to uh, many more wins for you. The last thing I just want to reinforce with you, Coach Hunter, is that, uh, I mean, you've taught us, you've taught us so many things. For me personally, some of them stuck right away and I was able to apply them in sports. Some of them, you know, I just didn't figure out or apply until later on in life. Um, but I'm thankful for them. You know, I'm so thankful that you, you did push us as hard as you did, invest so much in us. And I just want to say you, you've done, a, you, you do, you're doing a great job. I want you to keep it up. Because yeah, a lot of these life lessons don't just apply in you know, the sports realm, they apply in the professional realm as well, and they've helped me become a better, you know, father and husband and farmer as well. So I just want to thank, I want to thank you for all that. And I also want to thank you too for just keeping me a part of your life and a part of West Central area, even though I haven't been there. I graduated you know, a long time ago. You keep me involved, so I appreciate that. I just feel like a part of the family still. So thanks, Coach Hunter. I wouldn't take anything away from what we had. Like I said, he's my role model, and every memory I've had of him was great. Thank you, Coach. Um, thanks, Coach, for all the years you have coached at West Central, and thank you for the years you coached me and what you taught me. Appreciate it. But, oh, Coach, I, I can't thank you enough. I mean, like, I go back to all the time you spent away from your family just to be with us all the trips on to golf tournaments, the practices, all the rounds of golf we've golfed since high school. I mean, I think I can say this and I don't, I don't know many people can. And to me, it's pretty special. I know in high school you were a coach and you were a teacher, but now since those days are gone, I can truly, truly call you a friend. And I think that that's pretty special. I don't, like I said, I don't know know many people out there that have that opportunity and I it's 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 special to me I mean I I can't thank you enough for everything you've done so thanks coach and uh well coach thanks for all and uh celebrate the day you certainly deserve it thank you so I'll say congrats coach on reaching such a big milestone thank you coach I think my dad has been an amazing coach to the boys and a great leader to his students and players and I want to congratulate him on his 26 years of coaching basketball, 22 years of football, and 10 years of golf. Thanks, Dad. Um, I'm happy to like to say congrats on the 26th coach. I really hope you continue with it because uh, you really seem to enjoy it. So, go Knights!